Hey there folks, today I am bringing you an OU battle against Bolts and Bombers. Sorry it's been so long since my last battle, been really really busy, uh, don't want to go into it right now. Anyway, as you might have noticed, the team that I'm bringing is quite a bit different than the team I usually bring. Uh, three of the Pokemon are the same, uh, but I've got three new additions, three replacements rather, uh, since you can't have a team with nine Pokemon, well that would be awesome. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm bringing a Rotom Wash, a Charizard, which has a, uh, the Charizardite X, so it's a Mega Charizard X, and I have an Excadrill for spinning, also for setting up rocks. Uh, and yeah, so this this team was designed to be a vast improvement over my old team. You know, Sticky Web, it's a great idea, but didn't really work out. Um, but anyway, after this battle and after playing a bunch on Showdown, I actually made further revisions to this team. So the next time you see this team, this is, the pretty, this is the only battle you'll ever see with this team configuration. Anyway, I lead off with my Rotom Wash. He leads off with Breloom. I figure let's just switch right out into uh, Motoko. I didn't think he was going to go for the Spore here, but even if he did, um, Motoko can actually deal with the Sleep rather well. I also have a Cleric, but you know, don't want to worry about that. So he gets he gets five Bullet Seeds, but and it does well, about a third. So that's actually really impressive. So here comes the spore. But this actually isn't the end of the world because he can't do anything to me no matter what. So I'm not going to get the zeroth turn wake. That would be ridiculous. Um, but, you know, uh, I could get the first turn wake and that would be nice. So he's going to go and withdraw, realizing there's really nothing he can do to my Excadrill. Goes out into Landorus. Uh, and that's fine. We both have landers. I go ahead and switch out as well. I go out into Bo actually because Bo would actually be a perfect counter for Breloom because Bo uh, because of Hyper Voices um, typing. Anyway, I decided I just stay in. Uh, I didn't think he would go for the Sludge Wave. Most uh, landerses don't actually carry the Sludge Wave. Mine does and his does. So that kind of oh well. Um, he's gonna withdraw his landers here. That's fine. I think I stayed in one for the uh, went for the practice. Indeed, I did because you know I don't want I want Bo to have a decent amount of health. So now Excadrill is out. I don't want to really be leaving in Bo. So I go ahead and switch out. Um, uh, actually, the probably the better switch here would have been out into my Charizard because well, okay, Charizard doesn't really want to take a shadow ball. And Rotom Wash, I believe, is actually running specially. Yeah, it's specially defensive. So uh, the idea is uh, Will O Wisp. Uh, it'll I don't mean he can't use priority. Um, that means, or sorry, his priority uh, shadow sneak it will be useless. Uh, Rotom actually survives the second hit, which is rather impressive. Um, I could probably actually take a Shadow Sneak, and I do have the Pain Split for recovery, but I decide what the hell, it's a switch, uh, switch out. He goes uh, goes for the Shadow Sneak here, and Billy D's like, yeah, whatever, that didn't do anything, so I'm cool with that. Um, Billy D. Williams is now out, and I'm hoping he can set up a nice sweep. Uh, not set up because it's not a, it's not like it's a comp mindset or anything, but I go for the Earth Power. Unfortunately, he's got Levitate. Actually, so a better switch might have been Excadrill because, again, not going to care about the Shadow Sneak. Um, it wouldn't have cared about the Shadow Sneak, but it would have been able to hit Rotom with a um, with an Earthquake because of Mold Breaker. Mold Breaker is an awesome ability that I always forget about in Wi-Fi. I always bring in my Rotom Wash against Mold Breaker Pokemon and then get hit by an Earthquake. I'm like, crap. So yeah, uh, here I decide uh, to go for the Hyper Voice. I figured I could take a Sludge Wave, but he'd probably break the Sludge Wave. So um, Bo is not doing too well, poor Bo. I decide to Protect Stall a little bit just to get a little bit of health back. Um, and yeah, and then I'm going to have to switch out because Bo can't take even an Earth Power from this guy. So Bo comes back and I go out into Billy D. Williams hoping he doesn't have the Hidden Power Ice. Uh, he went for the uh, Earth Power, that's good. And uh, the way he switched out, I'm guessing he doesn't carry the Hidden Power Ice, but I do. So I go for it, and Mandibuzz takes about a third. That's really not enough, because um, Billy D. Williams is rather frail, and Mandibuzz ca always carries the roost. So, gonna want to switch out here. I go out into Avocado. Avocado, I figure, can uh, just... Actually, it doesn't have a Rock Slide. It has Iron Head, though, so I could have just hit it with some Iron Heads. Um, withdraws here on the switch. Uh, out goes goes out into Little Mac as I go for Earthquake with my Avocado, and that actually does a metric ton. I was very impressed, considering it's resisted. So I'm going to withdraw here, go out into Motoko. Motoko is still asleep. Um, but I have a chance to wake up, and that would be really, really awesome if I woke up. Because then I don't have to worry about, uh, heel belling at any point. So, uh, here comes more bullet seeds. Three hit, uh, four hit now. This one doesn't have, um, no, I mean, it would have technician, not, 
Okay, why would you? I think I don't think it carries. I don't think skill link is one of its options. Anyway, I do get the early wake up, which is nice, and I do manage to KO Breloom, and that's really nice. So his uh, spore is now dead. Yeah, you notice I don't actually have any. Um, in both of my iterations, I don't of this team. I don't think I've had um, sleep. Uh, a, a spore absorber, and that's kind of a mistake because spore is actually a fairly, or spore and sleep powder both are actually fairly common moves in OU. So it helps to have a grass type or a vital spirit Pokemon. Uh, are there any vital spirit OU Pokemon? I don't actually know. Anyway, I go out now into Pidgey. Uh, that is my name for my Charizard. Uh, there's a long story behind that, um, but whatever. I'm not going to get into it. So I go ahead and Mega Evolve here, which was a stupid, stupid move. Because had he gone for Earth Power predicting that, it would have KO'd. That was just a really dumb move on my part. And also, probably I should have gone ahead and Dragon Danced hit there. I was kind of stupid not to. Anyway, go for the Roost here, uh, wanted to see what Mandibuzz will do, I figured maybe it'll go for Toxic or something. It goes for the Foul Play, and holy crap, it does a lot of damage. And that's really not good, because I can't Dragon Dance, because if I Dragon Dance, then Foul Play will hit me even harder. Uh, kinda wish Charizard got bulk up, but it kinda needs the speed, so I go out now into Bow. Um, he goes ahead and roosts, thinking that I might attack again. Oh, he wants to get up to full health. So, this is a great situation because I don't fear anything from this Mandibuzz. I can wish, I can use, I can use a super effective, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Hyper Voice. So, this battle is actually going really well. It's going a lot better than some of my one-sided battles, um, that I've had in the past. Uh, with my OU team. So I'm pretty happy right now. So Bo goes ahead and switches out. Maybe I want to... No, I, no, this is Charizard, and it could be Charizard X, it could be Charizard Y. It's Charizard X, and Rotom Wash was not a good switch out, because it doesn't have anything to hit it super effectively. And now he goes with the Dragon Dance, and I'm like, well, crap. Uh, I'm, so the problem with this team is it has absolutely nothing to, to take care of Charizard X. Absolutely nothing. Um, once it gets off a of Dragon Dance, I am screwed. I'm just up shit creek without a paddle. Sorry about the profanity. So Dragon Claw is going to take me out. Uh, I go out now into Motoko. Uh, I am doing some really fancy playing here. Uh, so he goes for a Dragon Dance. I was thinking he'd predict me to go for the quite obvious, um, whatchamacallit, King Shield. So I go over the Shadow Ball, I'm like, come on, do a lot of damage. And it does a decent chunk, so I'm like, oh, that's awesome, that's totally awesome. And like, I'm inside your head. So here I go for the Shadow Sneak, uh, thinking let's just get a little bit of damage before he kills me, and he goes for the Roost. I'm like, damn it, damn it. I was doing so well for a second. And so now it's all a matter of mind games. It's totally all mind games here. Uh, you know, when do I go for the King Shield? And I go for the King Shield right here. I'm like, King Shield, yes! Now you're going to attack. I know you're going to attack. You're totally going to attack. And he goes for a roost. And that sucks. Well, you know, mind games are what they are. So, um, OU is now test... Play, uh, the suspect test in OU right now is... Um, is actually Aegislash. I'm not sure why. I don't think Aegislash is even a little bit broken. But then again, I'm not necessarily the best OU player. Um, I frankly think that there are a lot of things that are broken, like Charizard X! Hey, Charizard X! Now, I know that all these Pokémon are going to be playtested at some point very soon, but I just wish that they would get around to banning Charizard X! And you're thinking, but Antar, you have a Charizard X on your team! It's like, yeah, I can't ever use it right, so I stopped using it. Um, uh, you'll see that in the next OU battle I, I upload. But anyway, he goes for the Flare Blitz. I, uh, Pidgey actually takes that decently well. I was rather impressed. Um, and so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make him kill himself by just forcing him to keep attacking. So I go now out into Bow, uh, hoping for a little bit more uh, stalling action. And indeed, he went for the Dragon Claw, and that was good. He actually should have gone for the Flare Blitz and just gotten the KO. Here he goes for the Roost, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I can still hit you with a regularly effective Hyper Voice with a a lot of base power. So actually, that does more than half. So I'm like, so this is awesome. He's going to have to kill me. He's going to have to take me out. Um, and, you know, Bo has a lot of HP. So that's a lot of recoil. Yeah, crit didn't matter. I'm sorry. It was fire type. And even though I'm physically defensive, now he gives him pretty low. And oh, if only I had priority. So the next iteration of this team actually had priority. You were not going to see an iteration of that team because it actually ended up doing worse than this team. Uh, it had a... what should we call it? It had a Conkledur. Now the Conkledur is awesome because it actually can deal with... Uh, with um, Aegislash a decent amount of the time. So, you know, he takes himself out in the... Um, with recoil, and that's pretty much my only hope. So, I miss my Focus Blast here, but 
most Rotom builds it wouldn't have mattered. So Billy D. Williams dies to more hacks, and now I'm down to my last Pokemon against three of his, and I can't win this. No siree. Uh, so I go ahead and roost off. So this battle started off really well, but then it kind of fizzled once his Charizard X swept me. So the, aim of the, the name of the game for revising this team was Deal with Charizard X. And now if they ban Charizard X, it's not like, but I don't know that works to, get, to deal with it. So now um, I'm roosting off, and this is going to be a lot of stalling for the next nine turns. Um, basically, this battle is lost. Uh, all he needs to do is, well, actually a crit, I'd still survive, but um, all I'm doing, all I got, all I have to do is stall him out, and I'm gonna run out of roost before he runs out of foul plays, I believe. Um, so really nothing I can do here, and really this should have been a good game. I really should have just attacked, or I should have forfeited. Um, but that's not the way I roll. So I go for a Dragon Claw here. Don't want to take the recoil. It doesn't do very much damage. I actually need to go for the Flare Blitz, or I need to go for... Well, see, I can't go for the Dragon Dance, because if I go for the Dragon Dance, then he case, case, uh, knocks me out. Case me, oh. Yeah, that doesn't ever work. Um, so I go ahead and roost some more, and he goes ahead and foul play some more. And it's like, whatever, this, isn't, this battle is not going anywhere. Uh, and I can't roost up enough to win this battle at all. And he's not going to do anything but foul play because why would he? The funny thing is if I actually dealt with this guy, uh, and we're, uh, I might have actually been able to win this match because Rotom Wash can't really do anything to me. And uh, Aegis Slash, I just need to play smart and I can take it out with a Flare Blitz. So um, yeah, really it was just me against Mandibuzz and that's what lost me. The, well, the, what lost me the battle was losing all of my Pokemon to that Charizard. But um, this Mandibuzz just sealed the deal. So folks, uh, I hope you were enjoying this little... Uh, aside as I just stall my opponent out and drive him nuts. I, I apologized after the battle for doing all the stalling. He was like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So, um, Bolts and Bombers, you are a very good sport and uh, about me being a bad sport. So, yeah. Uh, so, here comes another foul play and I think this is just about the turn that I finally give up. Um, yes, I go for the Flare Blitz here. Like, maybe I can get a crit and like a 4x crit. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. So I went for the Flare Blitz, uh, and yeah, I don't think Burn would help me either. So it doesn't, well, and that help it wouldn't have. So that's the game. Fo hope you folks enjoyed it, uh, and I can't wait to show you the next revision of this team. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.